Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're playing some more Europe Universalis 4. Prester, Blessed Prester John. Here comes the Ottomans. They're committing to this. They're taking a crossing penalty with their 4-5 against our effective 6-3. Sorry, 6-5 six, 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 because of the crossing penalty. And we get the mountains bonus, so it's another 2 points. And we've got another 20 stack to reinforce. This army is all heading over to Turgovisti. Got our best combat guy here already. I put maneuver guys in charger in charge of this stuff so they could just get there a little bit faster. Core completed. Might as well convert and start another core. Or two. Now granted he's got reinforcements as well, but with those bonuses, negative three penalty for him. He just had a zero versus our six. Subject is tired of the war. It's too bad. We unfortunately just rolled a zero versus his... What is that? Five plus... Five, two. So two versus zero. Could have been an awful, awful round. Five versus zero, but it was not that bad. This needs to become the four siege pip guy. Even if we risk losing stab, I don't care. Four siege pips are too good to pass up. Yes, kill two to one odds. Thank you. Get a maneuver guy on there sooner. As soon as I can. Let's uh, improve relations with own subjects, I guess, for a bit. Alright, come on, my, my glorious Johannes the First. Go! Oh, all you gotta do is take Tirgoviste and then go straight to Constantinople, and then we should be good. And actually, I don't even need to take Constantinople. If I just take Tirgoviste, then we occupy a fort on this side of the thing. And if I take nothing else, I just take Constantinople, then we have the achievement. And I think that that'd be fine. Everyone marches. Let's go. Okay, so Tiravist is a flat province with only 11 defensiveness, despite his luck. And we're showing up with the, like, pretty much every bonus that we can get. 21% chance. Uh, we have very quick siege ticks. 27 days. Even still, I'm ahead of time on military tech, and I doubt he's going to take 13. So for the sake of making sure we get this done, let's just go ahead and do a breach. Turn this into a 42% chance. And I always call it a breach, even though it's a brush. You just have to be used to that, okay? Vendor's Desert. That army is retreating. Which is why I want to try to get this siege done. Before... Yeah, okay, that's bad. Looks like they retreated to Bessarabia. 50, 71, no, come on. I think I'm going to need the whole army over here. Can't afford to be stingy. This army... Cannot beat 40,000 troops. Unless they group up together and work on it together. Okay. Annexed subjects expired. 11th, 14th. So we're coming in right behind this 38 stack. Got blockaded there. I guess we will keep that army on the Crimean fort. Unfortunately, ended up with nine cannons, and this one has eleven cannons. But all right, cool. Forty-four development province there. Check his prosperity. For the first time in history, like, this land is being massacred. Let's just go see how quickly we can take down Constantinople.
Oh, you better believe it, buddy. We're here. We don't get the full bonus for uh, not having the blockade in place, but it's still 27 day siege ticks with 14% chance on day one. Constantinople's gonna fall. First stick was a supply shortage. And he is just busy moving his army around doing nothing basically. Which is perfect. Lots of peasant revolts. That's also nice. And of course, the knights are being the knights. More professionalism. Sweet. Suddenly we have 21.7% professionalism. We can do state firearm regiments now. Get land maintenance modifier plus 15% and gain more army drill. You know what? I've never clicked this button before. Let's do it. I can also now abolish our elite armed regiments. Provide professionalism. Let's not. Second siege stick on Constantinople was a defender's desert. We have three siege status so far. Just trying to get occupied and besieged provinces on as much as I can now. Ottomans, 54 and low enthusiasm. <laughs> Take Constantinople, come on, you food shortage, that's just silly. There goes Constantinople. Alright, let's see if we can get a peace deal here. I think we're good. That was actually a lot easier than I thought. Being able to march around was pretty simple and easy. And that was my phone making noise that's not supposed to make noise. I also just won the Siege of Crimea. Here we've got our Siege Specialist with one Siege Leader, Siege Pip, and we got our, our other guy here. We steal away. So, things that cost zero dip, please, will be Syrian cores. That's what we declared over. Of course, we're also taking, taking from a rival, so... All of that is every core he has. That is 37 more score, and uh, just you know, take Constantinople, because we can. Also, let's take War Reps. And then as much money as possible. Looks like we need to stay at war for a little bit longer, because we need the full peace deal. Sixty-nine war score. Breaches. Barrages all around. You're going down, buddy. It's nice when this is like the only war you need to worry about, and you can just, you know, go go insane. On spending monarch points, not worry about the future. Be nice if I had more cannons over here. Down. 
That's not a gold mine. Are you serious? Take it. Seventy-three war score. Uh, one more fort there can fall. I'm just gonna risk spreading out. I don't care if he kills a couple of them. I could also just not take the land from Syria. That's definitely an option. Or for Syria, rather. Seventy nine war score. Negative nine reasons. This guy's gonna accept in no time at all. You don't actually want to fight me. I know you don't. Now my war score is down to 63. What happened here? War goal... Oh, he controls Sidon. Hmm, yeah. But in the meantime, you're losing control of your entire country, so there's that. Okay, so we're working on getting back the war goal. 64 war score. Have side on, please. 81. Get that peace deal reestablished. Uh, why do I have to use the return core option, though, here? Instead of just demanding it properly. Doesn't seem to make any difference. Okay, so negative 20 reasons with that. I already have occupied and besieged forts on pretty much everything that I can get. Uh, these guys... I don't know, they go somewhere. We could maybe get one more on that fort. Possibly Corfu if it'll let me get there. Eighty-one more score. Come on, buddy. Just give it up. I know you wanna. There's Thames. It's still eighty-four war score. He's willing to give it up, unless the piece still got changed, which probably happened. 
He is willing to give it up. 2,850 ducats. Gives me his capital. Gives me all of Sirius cores. And war reps, I'm assuming I still have that one clicked? Yes. Not only will he go into debt, but he will also have to pay lots of taxes on it. He does not have any loans yet, but... Alright, sold. Real quick, let me just switch over to the other capture mode so we can see the pop-up when it happens. The only thing we need for Prester John is to own Core Province Constantinople, so we just have to core it. Which is going to take us 29 months. Raise autonomy, because who cares? And if you have any doubt that the Ottomans are dead, I mean, they're already dead. They're totally dead. Like... There's nothing he could possibly do. Next, I mean, this war went so easily, the next war is going to go even easier. An army can go there, this army can go to Burgas. This army can go to... Yeah, you go to there, you go to... Idarn. Let's go speed 5 while we just wait on this core. I guess I could look and see if there's any other achievements we could try to get, but... I mean, I, I started this achievement, this, this run out, with a very clear goal, and I like having that type of goal. Even if there's more achievements I could get, like, sure, I could get Industrial Powerhouse, but, like, I don't... You know, I like to just set a goal and go for the goal. That's it. Sleepless in Seattle. Own 10 coffee-producing provinces and have your capital in Chihalas. Apparently I have 9... No, capital... Yeah, what? No, I don't have enough coffee-producing provinces. I have a lot though. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I actually do have nine. Well, let's just seize a province from Hejaz then. Where's Chehalis? I don't even know where Chihalis is. I guess I probably should have maybe looked for that first. <laughs> Before just randomly pissing off a Jazz by stealing his lands. Uh, whatever. I'll pay off your debt. We do have some rebels. I'm looking separatists are pissed off in Cairo. Syrian separatists in Antioch. No more war exhaustion though. Wars are about to complete. Let's just let the game run a little bit. Yeah, I'm just gonna say now, I guess, that I don't really care if there are other achievements that are easy to get with this start. I will do it later. Military power, or that. Sure, military power. We also need good generals in Ethiopia. Ethiopia is in a great spot. Aside from trade, the the fact that you can get your hands on like seven gold mines, relatively easy, is just insane. Fifty eight gold a month from trade uh, from gold mines. Like right now, we're making just so much money. And sure, we're we're paying for it with the uh, with the yearly inflation. But by having economic ideas early, it's not that bad. And we can use the money to build more, um... Oh no, local autonomy in Constantinople. Big deal. <laughs> Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this, game, uh, this campaign. Right there!
Prester John. We are now Blessed Prester. Cool. I am going to move on to the next one. As always, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this campaign, and I'll see you in the next one. See you soon.